Hey guys again, welcome to another video on the channel. Today we've got the Carabao Cup Round 2 predictions. Pictures on the screen, um, but we're going to just say our scoreline for every single one. Because no one wants to hear the interesting games that are going on. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You know, this first game is the pinnacle of quality. Before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and smack my bell for more consistent uploads because we know that you like that. On Thursday, you'll see two videos coming out. So the first game, not on the screen, but in alphabetical order on the game on the Tuesday is Bristol Rovers versus Brighton. I think it's going to be 2-1 to Brighton. I think it will be a 2-0 Brighton. Last time they played, it was in on the 20th of November 2010 and it was a 2-all draw in League 1. Unsponsored, but thanks. Um, yeah, that, that game. Next is a really interesting game, Burton versus Morecambe, and I'm going with a 2-1 Morecambe win. I am going with a 2-0 Burton. The last time they played was uh, in April 2015, Burton 1-2-1. Next is a somewhat tasty game if you're a Championship fan, it's Cardiff versus Luton. Um, I'm going to go with a 2-0 Cardiff win. Uh, Cardiff actually had a kind of weird start to the season, they just uh, they lost 3-0 to Reading, which I laughed my fucking head off at, uh, and they were played in against Huddersfield in midweek. They were lucky to win, but yeah, I think they should win this. Sluton haven't got a win in the championship yet. Obviously this is the championship, but yeah, yeah I think... We're Cardiff filming this before all the fixtures. This is Friday yeah. right now. I think Cardiff will win 1-0. Yeah, the last time they played uh, was this season. Uh, Cardiff 1-2-1. Crawley versus Norwich. I'm going with 1-0 Norwich. I'm saying 2-0 Norwich. The last time they played was uh, in 2018. Uh, July of 2018 and Norwich 1-2-0. Next is Crew versus Aston Villa. Uh, John Carew versus Aston Villa. You know, really funny, you know. Um, I'm going with a Aston Villa 3-0 win. I was going to go with the same thing. Uh, the last time these two sides played was on the 26th of July 2013. It was a 5-1 Aston Villa win. Next is Crystal Palace versus Colchester. 3-0 to Crystal Palace. You see, but they're, they're, I wouldn't say 3-0. Because as good as they're a Premier League side, but they haven't got fuck all going forward. And they don't, I doubt they risk Zaha in a game like this. Colchester. What, Carl Wickham? Yeah, he's a good striker. You mate. think Ben Take will actually score in a game? Nah. Uh, I think it will be a one draw, actually. I'm gonna go so with who's going draw. for on penalties? I'd say the Crystal Palace, obviously, been the Premier League side to go for on penalties. And the last time these two sides played uh, was in 2016. Crystal Palace won 1 0 and they scored the goal. Jordan Match. <laughs> Jordan Match. Now, next we have the first game on this. Um, it's Fulham versus Southampton, a game close to Phillips Heart. So I'll just give them the line like this. Um, I'm going with a, I'm going to go with a 2 0 Fulham win here, actually. At the time of recording, we're, I'm coming, we're coming off of the 4 0 win against Millwall. So obviously, everyone, every Fulham fan is sky high at the minute. Uh, we've got Nottingham Forest tomorrow as of recording this. So we might be hitting, you know. Sadness again. We haven't really fixed our Premier League, our defence uh, from last season, and we're coming up against Premier League players again. Uh, I do like Ralph Hassan, who we did keep them up last season. The last time we played, it was 2 0 in the league. But yeah, I don't think it will be as clear cut as Aaron says. I think it will be 1 0, uh, and we'll actually go from penalties. On penalties. Yeah, we'll go from penalties. And then yeah. hopefully you'll draw us. Hopefully season. not. That would be pretty good if you drew us at a new stadium. I don't want Chess to come back to play. That's why I said it. Yeah, yeah, we can. Or even get Crane and Cottage and go and celebrate in front of the pack. Yeah, but there's Steven Session and all the twins playing oh, against each other. Think on the same that. side as well. Yeah. Left, left wing versus right back. Yeah. That would be interesting, actually. I mean, so I now, wouldn't want it to happen. Next, we have a, you know, when you think of cut the competitions, yeah. 
you, you think of the standout games, you know, with the main United versus Man City. We had Arsenal versus Tottenham last year in the Cup, Chelsea versus Tottenham, West Ham versus Tottenham. The final, Man City, Chelsea. Um, it's really good games, and we've got another cracking game here. It's uh, Grimsby versus Macclesfield, um, and I'm going to go with a 3 2 Grimsby win because I don't know fuck all about Grimsby, so I'm going to give them a win. Makes sense, right? Likewise, I know fuck all about Grimsby. I know a little to fuck all about Macclesfield. I know Sol Campbell kept them up last season, and I know that he's left. But I think it will be a 1 0 Grimsby win. The last time these two sides played, it was on the 12th of January this year, and Macclesfield come out 2 0 winners. Next, we've got the second game on this graphic. Um, two teams that are playing each other tomorrow, but at the Britannia. Or Bet365. Oh, Britannia! Britannia rule the land! It's Leeds versus Stoke, so Phillips' little snap thing has gone out the window because it's not the last time they played. They play tomorrow, and you don't know the score. I'm going to go with a. Um, Fuck it, it's the first one that just came into my head. 2 1 Stoke. I'm very optimistic considering what Stoke are yeah. currently. Winless in the championship. But it's they're, 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 they're not playing bad football, they're just leaving, they're just silly mistakes. Uh, Leeds are lead, Leeds are lead. Leeds are <laughs> lead. Leeds are lead. They're going to win it, they're going to win 2 0. Uh, even when they're heavily rotated, which it could be for this game, they've still got enough to beat Stoke. The last time these two played, as of recording, I know that they play tomorrow, the last time these two sides played as of recording, come. Uh, was 2-1 to Stoke, surprisingly. Next is the next game on this, and it's Newport versus West Ham. So I'm going to go with 4-1 to West Ham. I think that West Ham will win 3-0. The last time these two sides played was way back in 1979, uh, and Newport actually won the game 2-1. Next is a game that's not on this, but Philip wants to talk about it, because it is an interesting game, and I've just left it out marginally. But it's Nottingham Forest versus Derby. Oh, you see, yeah, hold on my fucking phone. You left out Leeds of Nottingham Forest versus Derby, but you fucking let in Burnley versus Sunderland. Yeah, it's it's Nottingham Forest versus Derby. Uh, Forest, from what I know, they're a bit up and downy. They could have won yesterday against Fulham. Derby a Derby. They lost to Bristol City the other day, and tomorrow they play a team. West uh, Brom. They play West Brom, as Philip said. I knew that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with one all here, and I'm going to go with Derby to go for a panel. Derby have had a weird start to the season. They play good football. I think Nottingham Forest will win, and I think they'll win 2-0. Uh, last time these two sides played, obviously as it's a trophy, Nottingham Forest won 1-0. Philip has light, randomly, the power of turning the lights on. Let me, let me promo this. Barcelona. Real Madrid. Bayern Munich versus Borussia Dortmund. Arsenal versus Tottenham. These are historic rivalries. Can I, go back. Can I, can I correct you? Tottenham versus Arsenal. These are historic rivalries that go back decades, right? And they, they have such grit and passion behind them. Every game has a story written in heavens. And then you think of these two clubs, right? You think of these two clubs, two, two clubs that are rich in history and prestige. We are talking about the game of the century, people. We are talking about Oxford United. There's a bill! <laughs> I've tried holding the sneeze. <laughs> I think Oxford will win 1-0. Well, obviously I think Millwall will win, I think Millwall will win 2-0. The last time these two sides played, actually, was I in League One in 2017, yeah. and Oxford come out 3-0 winners. <laughs> oh! My spirit level thing broke! <laughs> I keep fiddling around with it. Next is Plymouth, who are doing quite well in League Two, versus Reading, who are doing quite well in the Championship. Um, this game, I'm going to go with a 2-2 two draw with Reading going through on penalties. Plymouth got uh, a start, they're obviously in League 2 uh, and they're coming up against Reading who play some fantastic football when they beat uh, Cardiff 3-0. Uh, they play some good football. They're, they've got Pele and they've got Puskas 
their team. Puskas looks good. He, he, he scored a great goal against Cardiff. He scored two good goals against Cardiff. I think Reading will win two now. When's the last time they played, mate? Ah, shit! The so last just time just... these so two this. sides played no. was in a August 2016. Uh, and Reading won 2-0. This was in the EFL Cup also. Next is a uh, Preston versus Hull, a championship game. Um, I'm going to go with 2-0 to Preston. I think this game could be quite close. I like Hull. Uh, good side, they've got players in Brzezicki and Bowen. Irvine I like as well. Uh, but Preston, I think they'll, I think will win 3-1. The last time these two sides come up against each other, in 2018, the championship, so they haven't played each other in a while, uh, and it was 2-1 to Hull. Next is a really, 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 really interesting, tasty cup tie fixture, Rochdale versus Carlisle, and I'm going with 1-0 to Rochdale. Go, it's Aston Villa! And I think that this game between these two clubs, the managers and players, the back and staff, will be a 2-0 Carlisle win! Oh! <laughs> I don't know what side it's on. Next is the next game on this graphic, and it's Sheffield United versus Blackburn. This, I'm going to go with a 2-1 Sheffield United victory, because Billy Sharp is sharp. This is the, problem. This is the game he's going to start. How's Dave, how's Dave McGoldrick's house doing? We don't know, we don't know what's going to happen. We could turn up, they could turn up and motorbikes can come past and steal uh, Dave McGoldrick's house. We don't know. If uh, anyone notices a house going down the entrance of White Roadway, please contact the local authorities. But yeah, uh, Sheffield United have got off uh, to a surprisingly good start. They uh, played well against Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace, albeit a pretty slow and charge. Uh, but yeah, I think um, I like Blackburn. They got some players. They got Bradley Dak. I got they got Bradley Dak and Sam Gallagher, are two players that I rate. Uh, I don't know about much about their start of the season. I know we beat them. We beat them two um, And yeah, I think that Sheffield United will win this game. I think they'll win it three 0 uh, Last time these two sides played was in the Championship uh, in a year. Uh, because what year it was. 2018. 2018, and Sheffield United come out 3-0 winners. Next is Southend versus Milton Keynes Dons. Southend, I think they're doing pretty poor in League One. Milton Keynes just beat Lincoln in midweek, and they play Peterborough tomorrow. Um, for this, I'm going to go with a 1-0, and I'm going to go with Milton Keynes to go for on penalties. Uh... I think this game will be 2-1 to MK Dons. The last time these two sides played was in April of 2018 and surprisingly Southend won this game by four goals to nil. Next is Watford taking on my League One team, a team I do quite like the look of. They've got some financial problems but I do like this team. Watford versus Coventry. I have tipped Coventry to actually get promoted this year. You probably can call me by us if you want to, but I'm going with one all and Coventry to go through on penalties. It's one of those games where it's a mediocre Premier League side coming up against a League One side, and you know there's always one upset, and this could be the yeah, upset that Aaron was, was saying it again. You know, uh, I don't see it going that way. I see Troy Deeney whacking in a hat trick uh, and Watford winning three 0 Troy Deeney, yeah. Even though he's that injured. Is he? No! Oh! Isaac's success. Isaac's success, fuck yourself. The last time these two sides played was in July of 2014, a club friendly which ended in a 1 0 Coventry win. We have QPR versus Portsmouth. Um, As you could be a taste of the game. I'm going to go with. Um, I'm going to go with a Desmond 2 2 and QPR to go through on penalties. So I think that it will be a 2 2. And Portsmouth will go through on penalties. Oh, yeah. The Franks. I don't, who, Next, when, was, oh. when, when am I going to back QPR? That's a, that's a very good True. point. The last time these two sides played um, was the 5th of February this year, and uh, QPR won 2 -0. Next is Rotherham versus Sheffield Wednesday, League One versus Championship, and I'm going with a 2 1 
Sheffield Wednesday win. Sheffield Wednesday is still not found the manager. I know a lot of their fans want the caretaker manager to get the job on a permanent basis. I think Sheffield Wednesday will win comfortably 3-0. The last two meetings between these two sides were 2-2. Two -two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Next is Swansea versus Cambridge. Swansea are doing brilliant in the championship at the moment. I'll go 4-1 Swansea. I'm going to go... Next is Bournemouth versus Forest Green. Um, I'm just going to say good luck finding information on when they last played because I don't think they have. No, they haven't played. Yes, they have. Yes, they fucking have. Yes. In 2004. Yeah, I've got it on the thing. Yeah. 3 but, 1 Bournemouth. But I don't think Forest Green will win. Um, I'm going with a narrow 1 0 Bournemouth win. I am going with a. I actually need a poo, so I've got to hurry up. Right. I think Bournemouth will win 2-0 and it uh, breaks how it's called it well, but uh, I think Bournemouth will win. Next is Burnley versus Sunderland. Um, Burnley don't normally do too well in these competitions, um, and that is why I'm going to go with a 3-2 Sunderland. They might be, um, they might want to show what they're about, obviously they were a former Premier League, not mainstay, but you would, um, you would expect Sunderland to be in the Premier League. Uh, Actually, they haven't got Lee Catamo, he's gone to VVC, Vendlio, or wherever it is. They've obviously had a, a, a well-documented uh, fourth race, finished third last season and lost in the final. So, yeah, Burnley, boring, 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 boring. Please take one out! I've actually gone with a one-all draw, and I do think that Burnley will unfortunately, or some of the fans, go through on penalties. I think that they are quality. Show. Next is League One, Lincoln versus Premier League, Everton. Everton who are currently losing one nil to Aston Villa. I'm going to go with a 3-0 Everton win, because Moyes King. He only wants to score seven goals though, so I don't think he'll want to score True. in he the, in the, in the, in the FL Cup. I think this game will be yeah, a narrow 1-0 win for Everton. Next is the last game and all <laughs> it just needs a poo, so... I really do. <laughs> Next is the last game and it's Newcastle versus Leicester. Um, Newcastle or well, Newcastle, they just got battered by us. And Leicester a Leicester. And I'm gonna go with a 3-0 Leicester win here because I owe Perez. I'm gonna go with a 2-0 Leicester win. Uh, the last time that these two sides played, Newcastle actually won one nil. Uh, but you didn't say about Lincoln Everton last time they played. Oh uh, well I can't move on with that. Yeah, I've actually fully really got to go. I can't hold this in. I'm not joking. Right. I, can't. I, can't. I can't. I can't. I <laughs> can't. Right. Well, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Uh, like the video and subscribe for more content that's coming up. We will have the game week four predictions coming up on Thursday, along with an Arsenal versus Tottenham preview. Ashley will be joining me. Um, Maybe Philip, I'm not sure, but Ashley definitely. Um, and then when FIFA 20 comes out, we'll have some FIFA 20 stuff coming out. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and uh, we will see you guys later. Goodbye. Six and a half hours later. Oh. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I've got one minute and 29 seconds left on the video because we didn't stop recording.